the European production version of the new Honda NSX is finally ready to be shown. It made its official debut at the Geneva Motor Show, the perfect venue for a 550 horsepower hybrid supercar, the most technologically advanced Japanese model of the moment. Even though debuts like the R8 V10 and 488 GTB overshadowed Honda's car, we still like seeing the massive exhaust and the flying rear buttresses in person, both of which have been carried over from previous concepts. The NSX actually made its debut in January at the Detroit Auto Show, but has swapped its Acura badges for Honda ones in a mad dash across the Atlantic Ocean. Nothing else has changed. It's still a lightweight sports car with a mid-mounted twin-turbo V6 engine and advanced hybrid drive. We'd be stuck here all day if we were to look at all the minute technical details on the car, which includes an advanced 9-speed DCT that's capable of synapse quick shifts and executes rev matching downshifts. Sandwiched between it and the 75-degree V6 is one electric motor also acting as a torque filler, while two more located at the front provide dynamic torque vectoring. Honda officials have made it very clear they want to offer Ferrari 458 performance for Audi R8 money with the NSX. However, we'd consider buying one based simply on the looks. The design is just like that of a concept car and will turn heads everywhere it goes. The NSX's interior is a masterpiece when compared to something like a Jazz or CRV. Its center console rises up to greet the driver and the sculpted steering wheel has nice grips. However, there are still a few buttons that are borrowed from other models. How important is the NSX? Hard to say, as the hybrid supercar market is pretty small right now. In roughly 15 years, the old NSX managed to sell 18,700 units, which is less than half what the MK1 Audi R8 managed. In addition, both Ferrari and Audi also presented much faster supercars in Geneva, so the NSX is just as fast as some old models people will soon forget.